Hey guys, it's Wanda, and I'm going to show you something today that you don't see very often in most videos concerning freeze drying. This is the freeze drying tray out of the um, unit. Actually, not the tray, it's the part that holds the trays. In the back is this plug. And when I put it back in, there's a plug that just snaps in there. You mash it and it comes in and out. Not a big deal. So this is what the working component, the trays sit on in a freeze dryer. This is simply insulation. And if you look up in each one is insulation. We are in a humid, humid situation here at Deep South. So every time I use this, I have to take it out and clean it. I'll wipe it all down and I can wipe it down after we use it, but it benefits me more to wipe it down before I use it. So it doesn't really get dirty. If you can see, it's not really dirty. It's just that the humidity collects and you see it looks like strings in there. That is what happens in a very humid environment. So pay attention to your freeze dryer if you're in a humid place and make sure you clean it before you use it. So I will take a uh, vinegar rag and wipe everything down to kill all that before I put it back up. So something you don't see in a freeze dryer is, is that this part needs to come out and be cleaned before you use it every time. And it's probably been two weeks since I've used it. And we're going to be doing sweet potatoes. Our sweet potatoes came in. I've got mashed sweet potatoes to go in here for trays. And we're going to wipe it down. I use my freeze dryer like three to four times a month. After wiping it all down with vinegar, it all looks neat and clean. And the mold, the mildew is gone. So everything is looking better. We're going to go put it in and put our mashed sweet potatoes in it and we're going to fix them for Danny's dessert. Here I have nine pints of pink eye purple holes and the canner's ready to go. I've got about a quart and a half of peas here. They're pink eye purple holes. We're in the process of cleaning all the dishes up and over here I harvested some key limes we had some uh, pomegranates Danny harvested and one of our Thelma Sanders pumpkins. And I'm going to cook this tonight. And then we have plenty of eggs. We add the connector back here. As you can see in here, the cord goes all the way in. And we just slide this part back in. And just push it back in. Right there. The rubber gasket goes back on. It has a groove in there. And you just fit it on. Make sure it's snug. And it is ready to turn on. Right there, we turn it on. We're ready to start. Mine is pre-frozen. I have four trays of mashed and sweetened uh, sweet potatoes. They're frozen. This basket works perfectly here. It keeps them level. And having the lids, you see how they're stacked up. They stack on top of each other perfectly. Works out great. And I just take my sweet potatoes, put them, take the lid off, and put them in the freeze dryer.
our mashed sweet potatoes are out of the freeze dryer and guys look just comes up and I have the silicone mat under it and it just peels off look at that now if you can feel any cold in this at all put it back in and redo now I went an extra six hours looks like a giant square or uh, rectangles Cheeto and it tastes like sweet potatoes when you put it in your mouth it rehydrates back into the sweet potatoes now today because of what it is I'm going to be using the big 10 by 14 bags the mylar bags from harvest right they also have 8 by 12 and they have the small 6x9. The 6x9 is the only one that's resealable. It has a pleated bottom and it has the top that you can uh, zip lock back down. I love the 6x9 for snacks. So I go ahead and put that they are mashed sweet potatoes. They're ready to eat. And I put the date. I have a always have a pen ready. I have one, this little scoop that I keep here, the spatula. In case something sticks on the bottom. I can scoop it up, but this didn't stick. And the Harvest Right oxygen absorber. Somebody asked, they're 300 cc's. Um, that's what I use. And the heat sealer. I learned that by putting them in big chunks like this, I can put them in and it's flatter. And about half to a little over half is enough for a dessert. So I'm putting these in the bag heat sealing them down and it's flatter and they will store better by cutting them in half and um, not getting them too thick you see they're not too thick I can get both of them in there I can squeeze it down that gives me a whole tray in one I did this one that way you see it did really well this one I only put half a tray in and you see it did okay I could have put another one in there but it'll store so much better this way. One tray, if you don't overfill the tray, will fit down in the large, I guess it's 10 by 14 bags. So the Harvest Dry Freeze Dried Sweet Potatoes, what do I do with them? I only put about maybe a quarter of a cup per tray of sugar. So it's not real sweet, it's mainly sweet potato. You can eat it just as it is freeze dried, like a crunchy, snack or you can rehydrate it and eat it as mashed sweet potatoes or once you rehydrate it and you want a fancy dessert I make Danny's dessert it's simply got eggs and a little bit of brown sugar milk salt and baking powder and I mix it up and bake it it's kind of like a quiche or something but then you can also, if you don't want to do any cooking, you can take and take a small container of it or a large, whichever way you want to do it. Rehydrate. Mix in a little bit of brown sugar. Take you a few pecans and marshmallows and top it on top of it. Heat it and eat. You're ready to eat. It is amazing. During the month of October, Harvest Right uh, gave us a $100 off coupon. It will be in the description below, so if you're interested in a freeze dryer, check out the description for a link and the coupon for $100 off. So thank you, Harvest Right Freeze Dryers, and uh, we're going to keep freeze drying. I got a lot of sweet potatoes. Thank you guys from Deep South Homestead.